Hey friends, I'm so happy you are here to join me for story time today. Can you join me sitting on the floor? Great job. All right, before we get started, can you use your pointing fingers to help me find a few colors? Can anyone find the color blue? Is this blue? Is this blue? No, oh, here it is, there's blue. Yay! Good job. Can anybody help me find the color yellow? Is it right here? Is it right here? Yeah, there it is. Great job. Okay, can you help me find one more color? Where is the color green? Hmm, is this green? Or is this green? Oh, silly me, there's green. Yay! Good job. What do you think about dancing together today? I've got a brand new song for us. Can you raise both hands really high if you want to dance? Wow, you're reaching so high. Okay then, let's dance. Y'all sure are great dancers. Did you get all your wiggles out? Okay, when I say three, let's get our very last little wiggles out. Ready? One, two, three. Good job, Ollie. All right, way to go. Great job. I think we are just about ready for our story today. Oh, but where is Ollie? I haven't seen him today and he's bringing our book. Ollie, where are you? Has, has anyone seen him? Can you use your pointing fingers to help me find Ollie? Hmm, is he here? No. Is he here? No. What about here? No. Oh, there he is. Silly Ollie, I could not have found him without you. All right, now we need to find our book Ollie brought. Does anyone see a book? Is this a book? Is that a book? Oh, wait, I think there's something behind me. Is this a book? 
it looks like a great one. It's called, It Will Be Okay. Should we read it? Okay. In a dusty shed on a rickety shelf, hidden in a cozy packet, lived a tiny seed. Day after day, little seed watched as the farmer came into the shed. The farmer's strong hand would reach into the packet and he would say, I have a good plan for you, each time he selected a seed. Little Seed knew the farmer was good and kind, but he did not want to leave his home. Little Seed liked living inside the cozy packet on the rickety shelf in the farmer's dusty shed. He did not want to go. In the nearby woods under the big tall trees in a comfy den lived a playful fox. Little Fox raced around the tree trunks in the woods. Yippee, he shouted with glee. But then a long black shadow scared him and he hurried to hide in his den. He was scared of the dark shadows and howling winds and rain and most everything. Little Fox liked his comfy den under the big tall trees in the nearby woods. He did not like being afraid. One particularly dark night, a storm rumbled into the forest. Thunder boomed, lightning flashed, rain poured into Little Fox's den. Oh no, Little Fox cried as he scurried through the woods, trying to find somewhere safe and dry and not scary. He barreled inside the farmer's dusty shed, bumped into the rickety shelf, and knocked over the cozy seed packet. Little Seed rolled out onto the floor. A surprised little fox found himself standing nose to nose with a very unhappy little seed. I am little fox and I live in the den under the big tall trees in the nearby woods, he explained. I love to play in the woods, but I'm afraid of dark shadows and howling winds, he said. There are no winds or shadows in your shed. Can I live here with you? Will you be my friend? Little Seed said, do you see a pillow? Do you see a bed? Do you see a place to lay your wet head? No, you don't, because this safe place is the farmer's shed. But then Little Seed thought of how safe and warm it was inside the cozy packet on the rickety shelf in the farmer's dusty shed. He thought it might be quite nice to have a friend. Little Fox and Little Seed became the best of friends. Little Seed told silly stories and Little Fox made funny faces. Each day when the farmer came to the shed, Little Fox hid away. But the farmer was good, and the farmer was kind, and the farmer was always watching over them, even when they didn't know it. One morning, the farmer came into the shed as he had on many days. Little Seed, he said as he placed him in his hand, I have a wonderful plan for you. I have waited for just the right time, and today is the day. Oh no, please no, I don't want to go, thought Little Seed. The farmer went outside and knelt down. He pushed Little Seed under the ground into the dirt and down deep into a dark, messy place. Now, Little Seed, this is going to be different and it might seem scary, but it will be okay. You can trust me, said the farmer. Little Seed wished he was inside the cozy packet on the rickety shelf in the farmer's dusty shed. I want to trust even when I can't see, but how in the world is this good for me? Little Seed, come back, cried Little Fox when he saw the farmer take his friend away. Where are you, Little Seed? He looked in the front of the shed and behind the shed, but Little Seed was not there. He looked on the top of the tractor and under the tractor, but Little Seed was not there either. He looked under the duck's wings and inside the doggy's floppy ears. He looked in the horse's stall, the pig's pen, and even in the farmer's boot, but Little Seed could not be found anywhere. Now Little Fox was really worried. Little Seed, he shouted, I'm here, I'm here, way down in the dirt. I'm scared and I'm lonely, but I'm not hurt, said Little Seed's muffled voice right below him. Little Fox thought hard for something to say or something to do that would help his friend not be scared, but he was afraid too. It's different and scary to be someplace new, but it will be okay, Little Seed. Little Seed was not sure, and neither was Little Fox, but the farmer was good, and the farmer was kind, and the farmer was always watching over them, even when they didn't know it. 
Little fox stayed by Little Seed night after night and day after day. He was scared and lonely too. But after a little while, Fox started to see how the farmer took care of them. Fresh water for Little Seed, sweet berries for Little Fox. He wasn't even quite so afraid when he saw the dark shadows or heard the howling wind. Little Fox was starting to believe that the farmer was good and the farmer was kind. My friend whispered a sleepy little fox to Little Seed, go to sleep, it will be okay. Little Seed sat in the dark and messy place for what seemed like a very long time. But one spring morning, Little Seed felt a mysterious stirring. He looked down and discovered he was no longer a Little Seed. He was becoming something brand new, something wonderful. He pushed up through the dark, out of the dirt, and right through the ground. And there, looking sleepy-eyed and surprised, was his friend, Little Fox. Little Fox looked down and saw a beautiful green sprout. My friend, they each exclaimed with glee. They were once again nose to nose, and Little Seed told stories, and Little Fox made funny faces. After many days of fun, Little Seed said, Little Fox, look up and see. It's hard to believe what's come of me. For the messy, dark place I grew and grew from a seed to a tree, only the farmer knew. Together they made it through the dark and scary time, and together they learned that the farmer was good, and the farmer was kind, and the farmer was always watching over them, even in dark and messy places. Little Seed was never supposed to just be a seed in the seed packet, and Little Fox was not supposed to be alone and afraid. The seasons came and the seasons went. Little Seed grew into a big, strong tree, and Little Fox raced around his tree trunk, and sometimes Little Fox lay in the tall grass near Little Seed. And the breeze tickled his nose, and the sun warmed his belly, and the good and kind farmer was always watching over them. Little Seed liked things to stay the way they were. Little Fox was sometimes afraid. But just as they learned to trust the farmer, we can learn to trust God. We do not need to fear. He has a wonderful plan. He loves you and he is kind. And in the end, it really will be okay. Trust this truth in the tough things you face, confusing times in the messy hard place. God loves you and he is kind. Remember this always in your heart and your mind. Wow, thanks, Ollie. That was a great book. If you liked our book today, can I see one thumb? If you liked our book today, can I see two thumbs? If you liked our book today, let's clap together really loud. Yay! Great job, friends. Before we go, can anyone help me remember what Ollie tells us when we're together on Sundays and while we're having church at home? Three things. One, two, three. God loves me. God made me. And Jesus wants to be my friend for... Forever! That's right! Jesus loves you. And he made you, and he wants to be your friend forever. Wow, God made you so smart, and you are such a good listener, too. Thank you so much for coming to Storytime with me today. I sure have missed you, and I can't wait to get to see you again very soon. As we leave today, I think we should do one more song. What do you think? Okay, let's dance! Have a good day, friends, and see you next time. My messy head, my silly faces, my goofy grin, my funny dances. My messy hair, my silly faces, my goofy grin, my funny dances. I've got a friend, a friend in Jesus, he loves everything about me. I've got a friend, a friend in Jesus, he loves everything about me. When I get scared, you make me braver. You are my friend. My friend.
Awesome, let's do it together. My head and shoulders, knees and toes. 